In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Wishlist Member and Show Members. Now, Wishlist Member is one of the oldest membership plugins and Show Members is one of the, you know, the new ones. So we're going to take a look and see which one is better. Does Wishlist Member still hold its crown as one of the best membership plugins out there? Let's wait and find out. So here I'm on the main dashboard of Show Members and this is the main dashboard for wishlist member. So as you can see here, there's more happening. I have a membership level here and all it has here is a membership level and pretty much it's very, very minimal. Now let's take a look and see how easy it is to create a membership level. So here I am on show members to create a membership level. All you have to do is to click on add new and let's give it a name. So we're going to call this Mac members. So straight away, Show members is going to ask us what content we want to protect. So if I click on this drop down, you can see it says the entire website, all posts and so on. So let's just say for argument's sake, we're going to protect all the posts. I'm going to go ahead and select that. I can also exclude if I need to. I also have this drip content uh, option and then I can also protect my downloads. But pretty much this is what we have to set up for our membership level on show members. Finally, for this to work or for this to save. Now you'll notice that when I save uh, access group. This gives me an error. That is because I need to set up my action for unauthorized users. So if I click on this drop down, I have an option to either redirect to a specific page that I'll have created beforehand, or I can set up a message. So in this case, I'm just going to paste the message in here. Button, uh, button text, I'm just going to say sign up. And then for the button URL, I'm just going to add a blank link. So once I've done that, all I have to do is to save group. Now, remember on this sign up uh, button URL, I can also choose a sales page from here so that they can just be redirected to that page. Now, let's see how easy it is to do the same thing on wishlist member. So here I am to choose a membership level or to create one. You want to come over here on setup. Next, you want to click on this plus button. Now, let's give this a name and then click apply. Now notice what I have to do now if I need to protect my content. So now that I've created my membership level and here it is, if I go to my dashboard, you're going to notice that we have Mac and mem Mac membership, the one I've just created. Okay, so now I need to protect my blog posts. So what I need to do now is to come over here to posts. So you can see here we have hello world. So what I need to do is to click on this drop down. And then I need to add levels to content. So I'm going to select this, click here on this little pencil icon. So first of all, I have to protect it. And then now I am going to choose my membership level and it's going to be Mac membership Add to level. And now it has been added. Now, do you notice how many steps I had to do in order for me to do this? In fact, for a beginner, this is very, very confusing. In fact, the uh, learning curve is much steeper with wishlist member. Now, I also have a course that I created with Tutor LMS, which is right here. Now, if I wanted to protect a course, notice what happens. If I come back over here and let's say I want the course to be, uh, to be accessed by Mac members, all I have to do is to come to this membership group or the access group, click on edit. And then all I have to do is to click in here, scroll all the way down. You can see here I have Twitter LMS courses. I can just select it on the bottom here. I think it's called my something, my cooking course. There it is. Save access group. Now my course is accessible to Mac members, just like that. Now over here, Again, we would need to come to content protection. Now we have a list of everything that we can protect. So I'm going to come all the way down here to courses. And here's my cooking course. I'm going to select that. And then I can choose my membership level, Mac membership, add to level. And now you can see we have two membership groups. Now, if I need to go in and edit at any point, I can just come in here. Perhaps maybe I need to remove this membership level. I can just do that. Whereas over here, all I need to do is to go in and choose the specific membership level. In this case, we have two. So let's say I want to go into this one. I can just click on edit. If I need to remove it, I can just click on that, save changes, and pretty much I'm done. So overall, the uh, workflow on um, Shore members is definitely much, much easier, much, much better. Now, as I'm looking at this, if you take a look here and go to, let's say, the settings 
of show members. The settings are so minimal. If I click here on this little gear icon, it takes me now to the show members settings. All we have here is the admin settings where we can go in and uh, display show members icon. I can restrict uh, content in each, in the search results. I can um, add user roles here to decline admin access. Over here, I can create user roles. So I can say maybe add students. Now, what I can do at a later stage is give access based on the user role. Over here, I have redirection rules. So let's say someone logs in, I can redirect them to a specific page on my website, which is a page that I would have created beforehand. We also have a login customizer. This is where I can either change my login URL here and make it specific, or I can just go in and just customize it by adding all my colors. We also have login restrictions, so I can specify how many concurrent logins per user. So in this case, for all roles, maybe I can say two. So that means that people will not be able to share the username and password with others once they've purchased the membership. So it is very, very straightforward. As you can see, there's nothing more to this. If I click on back, it now takes me back to my access groups. Now over here, I mean, if I were to go through all the settings, this will be very, very confusing for you and this will take very long. So on the dashboard here, as I mentioned, this will give us all the steps for us to create our membership. Now, once I've done something here, it will just cross it out. But again, for me, it's too busy. Uh, if I come over here to setup, you can see there's quite a lot to set up here. If I come over here to integrations, there's quite a lot of integrations here. And I think hands down, uh, Wishlist member has amazing integrations. On the email providers here, there's also quite a lot, uh, especially my favorite here, Fluent CRM, which is fantastic. We also have other services. So we have BuddyBoss, Divi. We can also do a code, code redemption uh, here, and that's a very, very powerful feature. We also have Presto Player. I mean, there's a, quite a lot here that, in, that it integrates with. Whereas on um, Shore members, what they've done here is they've done it in a modular way. So if you just wanted to protect content, like what we've done here, someone will only need a username and password to log in. But all the integrations are not on show members. I mean, in fact, this is all we have on uh, show members. But the trick they have up their sleeve now is they also have another plugin called Show Triggers. Now, Show Triggers is super powerful. It has all the connections that you may want to have. And these are not just like a single connection to let's say show members to let's say Fluent CRM. I mean, it also connects with other services because show triggers triggers all these uh, different services as soon as an action happens. So it's a bit more advanced and much cleaner, but it is not bundled in with show members. The other thing is we notice here on uh, wishlist member that we have all these payment providers. So instead of having all these, what Show Members has done as well is they also have another service which you can plug in called Showcard. Now, Showcard is the payment gateway which you can connect with Show Members. Now, the cool thing about this is you only connect Showcard if you want to have your membership website as a paid membership website. So that way, Show Members becomes very lightweight. It doesn't have all these integrations and uh, all this extra code for it to work. In my opinion, this is the best way forward because it makes your plugin very, very lightweight and you only plug in what you need at that time. Whereas over here with Wishlist Member, it has all these integrations and chances are you may, not, you may only use just one of these. What happens behind the scenes with all the code that's there? I don't really know. I'm not a developer. Perhaps maybe you guys can help me when it comes to what all this extra code does. does. Does it make the plugin slower? I mean, I would think so because it's all this code that's on the plugin, but I don't know. But as I'm using this, I can see that Show Members is lightweight, it's snappier, it's faster, and uh, it is much, much easier to use. Now, again, if I come over here to Members, now this interface here is quite cool because there's a few things we can do here. Let's say I wanna go into this user and make some changes. You notice that we have this pop-up. I can add the address. I can manually add levels. I can do paper post. In fact, I've never done this in the 10 years that I've used Wishlist Member, by the way. You can add them to specific membership levels. So it has a very nice uh, interface for you to go in and uh, customize a few things 
per user level. If I wanted to do a similar thing with uh, show car, I mean show members, I would have to come all the way down here to users, all users. And again, I'm gonna go to the same user, click on edit. So the settings here can be found all the way down here. Now you notice that this is your normal uh, WordPress stuff, but what show members has done is to just to add a bit more information towards the end to do those changes. So here we are, we have this application passwords. You can add a new application password here. And then we need to scroll all the way down here. And this is where we are, add access group. So this is where I can add access group. Oops, I have to go in here and type it. So I know it's called Mac something, Mac members. So this is where I can manually add a user to the access group or to the membership level. And then I can just say add. And just like that, I've added it. If I need to edit it, I can always come over here. But pretty much it's very, very minimal. There isn't much going on here. If I need to revoke access, I can just come over here and revoke access right here. So they have a different way of looking at things. Uh, presentation wise, I think Wishlist member is better in this sense because you only have one screen where you can just go and do all your changes and pretty much everything is done. Now, the other tool that I really like uh, with Wishlist member is the ability to export and import members. So over here, if I click on members, you can see here I have an option to export. So I can choose what membership level I need to export. So I can choose by coming over here. If I need to add multiple ones, I can just add them like that. Export full data, include password encrypted, and I can also include inactive members. But if I don't, I can just uncheck it and then export. Now it's as easy as that, it's a CSV file. Now this will be ideal if I was exporting this and then trying to import it on a totally separate website. So if I wanted to import, all I have to do is to come over here, click here to import, you know, choose the file and pretty much I'm done. So I can really import members using a CSV file and this CSV file can also be used uh, on other membership uh, plugins, I presume, because you know CSV file is common in exporting data from the database. But here's the challenge. With show members, we don't have this option. But the good news is uh, this option is coming. I've already um, inquired about it. It's something they're going to be adding on uh, at a later stage. And I'm sure uh, they are going to do it in a uh, very elegant way because ideally for show members to work uh, really well, it needs to have all these um, migration options which are really, really easy to use. For example, let's say you want to move all your members from, let's say, uh, MemberPress, there should be an option where it can just gather the, all that data and just import it nicely onto show members, not just the CSV file. I mean, I would really hope that they will uh, be able to do that. But yeah, this is a feature that's coming soon to show members. Now, when I look at this overall, uh, it is very, very, very... Uh, it has a lot of features. So if I look at admi administration here, you can see all this, you know, all these are features that I have to drill into one by one, okay? This is content protection. This is content control. Now, if you're not careful, these are things that, can you, that you can find very confusing as well as you start uh, going deeper into this. So in the end of the day, you're going to pretty much uh, end up just guessing what these things do throughout this whole system. All right, so let's talk about the pricing. So right now I'm on Wishlist Member and for a basic website, it's 149.50. But when you take a look here, you notice that when you go on to two sites, it's 249, but they've added Course Cure. Now this is a um, plugin that allows you to have courses on your membership website. And then over here we have team accounts and file and folder protection. And then on this one here, which is a 1,199, it's up to five sites, keep integrations, recurly integration and premium support. Right, so let's take a look here at show members. Now for show members, it is very, very straightforward. It's much cheaper. It's $69 per year. 
And then over here for the business, you get to do up to five sites. It is a 99 per year. And then finally, on 10 sites, it is 149. But don't forget, if you want some extra features from short triggers, you would need to pay a little bit more. And also on shortcut, you may need to pay a little bit more as well if you want extra features. Now for the automations, if you have something basic, this is going to be free and this gives you a thousand tasks every month and it also gives you five workflows. Now for the pro version, it's $9 per month and this gives you 5,000 tasks. Now the way I look at this is the more automations you have, this should be giving you more money in order for you to afford this $9 per month. Now with Shortcut, it is free for the most part but if you want to do some complicated integrations, then it is also paid. So uh, overall, when I look at uh, these two, I think Wishlist Member has a ton of features. Now that in itself can be a negative for let's say a beginner, someone who just wants a basic uh, membership uh, website because there's a lot to go in and customize. And also the learning curve is quite steep. This is a plugin which has been out there for a very long time and they've been adding all these amazing features, but all these features now can also add complexity. With that said, it is a very, very powerful uh, membership uh, software, which can pretty much do whatever you want it to do. Now, let's take a look at uh, Shore members. Now with Shore members, very lightweight, very slim. And if you need to, edit, uh, to add any extra features or any uh, extra functionality, all you have to do is to add the necessary um, plugins like Shortcut to add the payment option, Short Triggers for you to connect with other uh, plugins to enhance the functionality of Shore members. Is that a good thing? Well, I leave that for you to decide if that's a good idea to have these segmented and then bring them together as and when you need them. So overall, I'm sure I've given you enough information for you to choose which one is better. In my opinion, it just depends. If you give yourself enough time to learn Wishlist Member, it can be a very, very powerful system. But if you want something that's very easy to use, uh, very, very straightforward, then Shore Members will do the job and the learning curve is also very, very uh, small. Anyway, tell me what you guys think in the comments box below. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Hey, by the way, I also have the uh, affiliate links in the video description below for both products. Take it, guys. See you soon.